Hello, everybody. This is Connor and Vince um, bringing you a special episode of the Commodity Insights podcast after the uh, February 24 WASD report here in the grains. Um, it's currently about 1115 here, and it looks like the March soybeans are up two and a half cents. The March corn is down a half a cent. So it was a, a pretty quiet report here, but uh, we got some numbers to share with you. Um, Vince and me have kind of been digesting it. Nothing too crazy, but uh, what are the ones that stand out to you the most here, Vince? I really not a lot, as you said, it's it's there. Uh, the Brazilian and, and uh, Argentine corn and bean crops did not change as much as some of those people thought they would. N not a big deal one way or the other on there, but the market initially uh, was down a little bit. And I think part of that on the, the beans was we actually increased uh, the world carry out on beans by 1.4 million metric tons corn decreased at 3.2 million and i think that's why you're showing a little strength in the corn whether we can take that the rest of the day i think we'll have to see connor what that one does but all in all when you try to break down those numbers you look at the corn side the 2022 23 revisions really didn't make any changes they did decrease to million bushels or 100,000 bushels on feed usage. But all in all, when we looked at this coming year, the 23-24 year that we did, uh, that feed usage would be down uh, 10 million bushels, which increased the carryout numbers by 10. Not a big thing. USDA didn't change any of those expected prices. They left that at $4.80. If we come back and we look at the bean numbers, actually no changes from last year, which would be normal. Exports, we did decrease by 35 million uh, bushels, which increased the carry up by that much. Um, actually dropping the expected price of dime to 12.65 for the yearly average. Not a big thing, but I think we've seen that over the past several weeks where we didn't see any big export numbers in there. So we had to figure that was coming. Now we can see that we have other uses domestically that might be able to offset those. As we look at the wheat numbers, a very similar thing in here, we decreased that feed usage or food usage, excuse me, on the wheat by uh, 10 million metric tons, uh, raising the carry out 10 million, but really didn't affect that expected price. Um, you know, where do we go from this point? I think we just need to see what happens and where we go. Just a quick wrap up on Argentine corn from last month. Unchanged Brazilian corn, they did drop 3 million metric tons. If we look at soybeans out of Argentina, no change there. Brazil was down a million metric tons. I think this earlier this morning, Conab came out with their numbers and they and out of Brazil and they actually dropped corn production, uh, 3 million metric tons and beans about six. So totally different numbers than what we get out of USDA. I think we really need to see how we end the day up, that's going to be the most important part of things. Corn's back a quarter higher here and a couple higher in the beans in the front month. So maybe you put a short-term bottom in. I don't think there's any runaways in here by the numbers you got, but all in all, at least it wasn't an ugly report. That sounds good. Um, good numbers there, Vince. Um, unfortunately, it's not a very bullish report, though. It is quiet. So um, we'll take what we get, I guess. So we'll go from there. Thanks, everybody, for listening.